Hello YouTubers. This video is a small lesson how to connect to Siemens PLC S7300, applies to S7400 as well, using Delphi with a free library LibnoDev. You will find a code, links, and some explanations in the description. Let's get started, first you need to create a new project. You can do that by file, new, VCL forms application Delphi. A new project with a form will be opened. Save it anywhere on the computer. You can give a name for your project, a name for your unit and for your form. Your project is saved, time to add a controls on the form. Most of the controls, used in this demo, are in the tools panel, standard. Let's put a panel. Delete its caption. Align it to the top. Then put two buttons, timer, and edit on the panel. Give a caption connect to one button. Rename it to the BTN connect. Give a caption. Read. To another button. Set enabled to false. Rename it to BTN red. Timer control can be found in the tool panel, system. Set its property enabled to false. Leave interval 1000. Rename it to TMR red. T edit control is going to represent the count of readings. Set its text as zero. Put the string grid control on the form. Align it to the bottom. Set color as silver. Set column count to 3. Change the drawing style to classic. Set a fix color to gray. Set parent color and parent font to false. Place the memo after the string grid is configured. Set the align to all client. All controls are set, let's switch to the code. First of all add no Dave in uses. In private declarations add constant variable byte cnt as integer and the value is 39. It means, that I am going to read 39 bytes. Then add boolean type variable connected. Array for status. Integer type variable read count. FDS as Dave serial type. DI as Dave interface. DC as Dave connection. A function to change color of the text in string grid. In the form creation event declare string list variable SL string variable f path, and integer variable i. In the variable sl conveyor names will be stored. Conveyor names are in the text file. f path variable will contain path to the text document. Read the conveyor names from file to string list. Set the width of the columns 0 and 2. Set the names to the columns. Set the count of the rows of the string grid to the length of the string list plus 1, as the first row is for names of the columns. Populate the names of the conveyors to the first column and default text to the next columns. Free up the string list recourse. And we are done in the form create event. In form close event, 
if the connection to the PLC is established we need to disconnect from the PLC and disconnect adapter. Now create on click event for connect button. First let's create a connection that is represented by the Dave serial type. Port number is 102, change the IP address to the IP of your PLC. Initialize the Dave interface after the initialization of the serial type is done. It will represent a physical connection to the PLC. After successful initialization of the adapter, you need to establish connection to the PLC. On the successful connection set variable connected to true and button read to true. Fill up the string grid with text, need to read data. Now it is time to read data from the PLC. Data is going to be read every one second by the help of the timer. So in the read button on click event start the timer and disable the read button. In the timers on timer event let's read the data from the PLC. First we need to stop the timer. In the PLC program I have configured in DB60, bytes from 0 to 38 as status of the conveyors where 0 means that there is no control voltage 1 to 2 means there is an error 3 to 10 means conveyor is ready to run 11 to 12 means conveyor is running in automatic mode and 13 means conveyor is running in manual mode read 39 bytes of the data block number 60 starting from byte number 0 after read is done let's populate data in the string grid the explanation is in the third column, status in the second column. Then increment count of reads and represent it in the edit. And in the end restart the timer for next reading. On unsuccessful reading we disconnect from the PLC and populate string grid with default data. The last step is to color the explanation column cells according to the status of the conveyor, where 0 is black color, 1 to 2 is red color, 3 to 10 is yellow color, 11 to 12 is green color, 13 is blue color. Let's test the program.
Based on this example I have made a visualization of the production line. Thank you for watching. Check my channel for the other videos.